Hmm. Animals in space. Well, I know one animal that can really survive in space. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to another animal video. It's an, I'm Mama Ahmed Khan and today you are going to learn about one animal that can really survive in space. And it can survive hot and really hot temperatures and really, really, really cold temperatures like in the Antarctica. And it can also survive high radiations and toxins. So let's go to the old and trusty computer and I will show you the secret behind it and also other things related. So first off, let's tell you the scientific name of this microscopic creature. The scientific name for this creature is tardigrades. That was easy. So, where does this creature live? This, the tardigrade, lives everywhere that uh, wherever he, uh, this creature can find lichen and moss. The tardigrades eat moss and algae. algae. This, the tardigrades are the size of a tip of a pin, really, and can survive up to 30 years without water and are, and when there is no water, like say if a tardigrade is in the desert, it or ever, anywhere, it curls up, curls up into survival mode, and when they do that, they wrap up their DNA uh, with proteins to protect it and replace water in their body with special proteins and sugar. These creatures can survive scorching deserts cold places on Antarctica, the deep sea, and can survive the five, five times the pressure at the deepest part of the ocean. And even in outer space, can survive radiation and toxin. Now that's a creature power. Even so, once NASA went to outer space and uh, and took a tardigrade with them and they released the tardigrade in outer space for 10 days and then after 10 days the uh, the they return the tardigrade returned to the spaceship and they were shocked to see that it is alive and well now that's really cool And that's how NASA proved that the tardigrades can survive in outer space. In space. They are also called water bears. Tardigrades live in the sea, fresh water, and on land. However, they are difficult to detect. Not only are they small, on average, they measure less than 0 0.5 millimeters in length, and the biggest ones are still less than 2 millimeters. But they are also transparent. You can just see them with the naked eye. Predators include the predators of the tardigrades are uh, including nematodes, other tardigrades, mites, 
spiders, springtails, and insect larvae, parasitic proto protozoa, and fungi often infect tardigrade populations. Ramazzotti and Mulkey, 1983, a ecosystem grazers such as freshwater crustaceans, earthworms, and arthropods, and ablate tardigrades population. Also, water bears can help shield people from harmful radiation. So it's uh, so it's a good advantage for us too. Also, did you notice this uh, this um, uh, hole is not his eyes, it's his mouth. But some species do have eyes. If you thought the, this was his one eye, then please tell me in the comment section below. And so that brings us to the end of our indestructible creature um, creature learning i hope you like today's video please subscribe and hit the like button and share it with your friends so they can too learn about life on space and i will see all of you in the next video